Right, set up in the drill again. Well, I'm good jumping in. Now it'll take a bit of metal off the rod here. Swore. Oh, push it in the piston. Trust me. Silly Billy. A little rub round. Ah, not tight enough. Fingers good. And I'm just going to open the eye up to touch that. Just use, using my drill bit like a reamer. <laughs> right. What do I mean? Right, to got myself some Loctite sludge sludge tube. Now there's a big hole in the sludge tube, and the hole has to be underneath that hole. And then the end of that bolt goes into there. Um, this little tool I made, the hook here is very shallow, so it doesn't. Because the tube's thin, and there's not much space between here and the crank. So you don't want this too long, otherwise it'll go up this hole into the crank. So there. And I think I put a saw cut down like that, so it was more of a V. So, there. Right, I'm just going to slide that in, put it on the end of that drift first. Trust me to get that stuck. Try again, use my finger. Oh, I know what I want, a socket to fit over. Yeah, it is, I've got my finger at the wrong angle. <laughs> Right, that nine sixteenth socket fits in there. So 
So I've got the hole about lined. And I'm just going to tap the sludge tube home. I'll try and get a picture down there. Things at all. Right, so you want that line, that all lining up. Knock it in. So, right, I, I've got that all lined up. I can see it down there. I'm just, I've cleaned all the threads out with wire wool, with a wire brush, a fine wire brush. And also use nail polish remover. In the threads down there, on the cloth, clean them out as best I can. And on the bolt. Right, I'm just going to whip that washer off and just put a dry run in first. where it would be tight yeah that's gone down there nice so I'll plug it in the vise Right, I'm going to uh, plug this in. Right, I'm going to put a drop of Loctite on it. Literally all it takes, a uh, drop on there. Yep. And in it goes. Don't forget the washer. Let me go straight to the power bar. Give that a nip. Right, that should be all right. Put me trunk shafts here. Right. See how many takes this takes us. It says we'd see the box. Right. Take that one off. Pull the rod out. Pull the main shaft. Right. These t there's two cogs here and this top selector should come off. There, in a unit. Now withdraw that. Don't forget the thrust washer. All right. The next two cogs and the selector will come out in a unit. Then the last bit. And last but not least, the cam plate right putting it back together this part of the cam plate is the front it wants to be like that with this looking at you right first bit sprock the goes on in the hole. That one and that one go together 
and the correct selector fork over the top and if you hold them like that you can put them in in a unit put the fork on upside down right try again fork the right way up this time put it down and engage the bottom of the selector fork I don't know if you can see into the and then we want the bottom of the selector fork here engaging into the cam plate right that would be it now back to the lay shaft make sure your thrust wash is on pull the cogs off take the lay shaft put the lay shaft in wiggle right then the next two and the next selector fork right biggest one at the bottom and selector fork on like said well this sometimes takes a little bit of wiggling and the camera's well in the way so hold them together and we want a little bit of a wiggle to get these to mesh up and then this selector fork I'll have to lift it up on the cogs a bit and pop that in right that's good that's good going well main shaft wiggle select a rod flat bit to the bottom hopefully that's one's dropped out so I'll have to lift that up a touch line them up there we go wiggle wiggle that's it and the last bits to put that on and that will be it that is it then it would just want the selector um, when this case goes on now I have a leaf spring and it turns the cam plate so it actually changes gear so it's best to put it in I don't know we'll have a go <laughs> oh, yeah right I'll just reverse that right that off pin out main shaft first two cogs off the bottom one and this selector fork shaft next two cogs and select a fork Put in. and they come out Ooh. said bit and the cam plate
Right, I'll have another go, see if I can do it any better. Right. Cam plate. Ridges to the top. Right. High gear. The next two cogs off the um, or gears off the main shaft with the selector fork. Now clag them in and try and engage the roller with the slot in the cam plate. This one, right? That's it. Now we want the lay shaft. So we want the inside of the lay shaft. Don't forget the thrust washer. And then the next two gears and the selector rod off the layer shaft right. tripod in the way as you lower them down a little bit of wiggling and you'll have to twiddle these to engage the teeth and then engage this selector fork with the cam plate. It will and should. Oh, you dick. Guess we're doing a boo boo. Oh, no, it's an even bigger dick. Try again. shaft select a fork rod flat bit in quick wiggle try and get them lined up another wiggle try and get them all in the case in and that's it and that's it gave up in Then the indexing, which I'll show you when I get the engine in. <laughs> right, that was the gearbox. I've got a couple of minutes to fill on my video so the last few shots of the gearbox I've just taken on a new camera that I've just got um, I thought the other one was knackered uh, turned out to be the flat batteries after I'd pressed the order button anyway two cameras now and I thought I'd uh, do a shot of the gearbox I'm, I do, I'm not too impressed with the sound on it it seems a bit muffled compared to my other one um, anyway on the next vid, I'll be preparing the cam cases like I, I would have done before I got the camera and done the box. Um, so yeah, anyway, many thanks to all the great comments so far and all the best wishes. Um, just, just general nice stuff on YouTube, great stuff. Right, I'm glad you're enjoying them. Nearly up with the rebuild. Bye for now. <laughs>